Oh man, okay. Sorry about the last video ending abruptly. My uh, brother was banging on my door. I was like, what? He's back already? I guess he got back sooner than I thought. And he already cooked uh, dinner. So I just ate dinner. That was nice of him. I thought he wanted me to help him make dinner, but he just did it himself. So yeah, I got like the best brother in the world. Not gonna lie. I'm lucky like that. I just uh, wish things were going better for him. It's frustrating. You're trying your best to help your family, you know, be safe, be happy, thrive, all that shit. And uh, it looks like you're, I'm getting nowhere here, you know? Looks like things are just worse than ever. My my brother and my mom are just like depressed these days and just it sucks, dude. Cancer and diabetes. Not fun. And here I am, healthy, don't have any real problems. I wonder when I'm gonna fucking get super sick. Well, I do have this weird foot problem. I don't know what that's all about. But I would say I'm relatively healthy. But anyway, guys, I forgot to finish what I was saying about Jordy Peterman, that dumbass. Yeah, okay, so in that game, The Messenger, this developer accidentally came off sounding a lot like the guy because he was putting some of his inspirational self-help quotes into a character in the game, you know, so, yeah, not great, but anyway, that exact, uh, developer responded to the criticism, and that exact developer said, hey, I'm not all about that motherfucker at all, <laughs> so, yeah, pretty funny. And then there's another controversy surrounding uh, Sea of Stars, which is, uh, this one's sad. That other thing with Jordy Peterman, that's just sort of a misunderstanding, whatever, right? Not a big deal. But, uh, this controversy actually is depressing. There's this guy named Gerard, or Gerard, Gerard, can't say his name. This guy, J-I-R-I-D or something like that. Anyway, this dude is known as the completionist on YouTube. He's a gamer channel type. Uh, 1.5 million subs. He seems like a big deal. I just heard of the guy, you know, I don't know anything. So I just heard of the guy and I saw his review of the game and I was like watching it. I scroll into the comments section to find a bunch of people hating on the guy, saying some pretty vile shit about him. I was like, who is this guy? Why does he deserve to be chewed out by y'all? Why are you being such dicks to him? Is there a good reason? And it turns out there is. Apparently this dude, uh, he like, was good friends with the people making Sea of Stars. And they liked his support and camaraderie so much that they actually made him a uh, a little side character in the game, you know? And that's cool. Until you find out that uh, the guy ran a scam charity and suckered about $600,000 out of people who thought that he would go to a good cause. Turns out, the reality is he's been siphoning those funds and just keeping them in some random bank account for the past decade. What a piece of shit, right? So, he got found out, and, uh, yeah. The developers of Sea of Stars decided it would be best if they got rid of his, uh, character in the game and replace him with a different type of animated character. And that's exactly what they did. And I, I, I respect that. Because uh, I, I think developers need to be responsible. If something shitty is coming out about them, they need to get in front of it, man. Do the right thing. It happens. Sometimes you got a pedophile working under you. Whatever. <laughs> you know? Oops. Oh, shit. Turns out the guy we thought was cool working for us is not actually not fucking cool. It happens. 
some people lose it in this world, you know, and you got to address it. To act like it's not a big deal or act like it's not happening, that's, that's the soulless corporate response. Fuck that. No. Address it. And that's what they did. So I respect these developers, you know. Not everything was uh, going great. But despite the uh, difficulty, they did the right thing. And I appreciate that. Man, oh man. But yeah, I love this game. I think it's pretty great. Although finding all these conches to unlock the fucking true ending of the game, that is bullshit. I will criticize the game for that. Fuck, you guys are making me work my ass off. But the world they created is so, like, marvelous that I want to go back and see all of it. So I'm doing it right now. So, the game doesn't suck that hard. <laughs> and it's kind of cool, look. You got a little parrot, see, look. Bwokok! There's treasure here. He'll tell you where to go and stuff, yeah. Treasure is left there. Oh, not here, though. Not here, though, you know, so. Weird shit here, you yeah. know. Interesting. So yeah, guys, um, there's a lot to this game. Um, but like I said, it's not the kind of game that you keep coming back to, like Elden Ring or something. Like, I keep going back to Elden Ring just because I like the challenge. It's always a challenging game. It's never, like, too easy. Um, yeah, so I keep coming back just because of that reason. But a game like this, nah, you're kind of just there for the experience. Once you've experienced it all, pretty much, you kind of take it all in and that's that. Maybe one day when you forgot about the game to a degree, you come back and replay it. <clears throat> I do that with uh, old Final Fantasy games and whatnot, you know. Uh, a personal classic favorite of mine, Secret of Evermore, I do that with sometimes. So... Oh man, my head is killing me. I don't know what my problem is. I got some kind of weird tension headache that's tied to the sinus problems. And man, it sucks. It feels like I can't keep my head on straight. Like it's going to fall off. Very strange feeling. I was eating dinner just now and fucking chewing food seemed kind of hard. And I felt like my jaw was getting tired from chewing. And that's the feeling I'm getting from this sickness is uh, it's lack of energy. Draining feeling. Ugh. Hopefully I get better. Or hopefully I die and I'm out of this shitty world for good and maybe that'll be a good thing. No, I hope not. I hope I live at least another mm, 10 to 20 years. If I can make it to 50 or 60, somewhere around there, I'll think that's a life well spent. <laughs> At this point, I'll take that, like, 70 or 80? Forget it, dude. Forget it. I don't see myself making it that long, yo. And it's kind of a thing that if you do make it that long... You, you lived a pretty privileged and stress-free life, and you were pretty lucky. So, old people, if you make it that far up, you should be grateful. <laughs> Although I can still understand you bitching all the time. Being old sucks. Your body hurts a lot. <laughs> Yeah, man. I gotta find a guide and look for all those conches. 
Man, you know what I say to that? I say fuck that, dude. <laughs> I don't feel like doing it. I really don't. Man, where am I gonna find all them conches? That sounds like such a pain in my asshole, dude. I don't wanna deal with that. Where's the Evermist, uh, god, dude? Isn't he over here? No. No, he is over there on that big, big, uh, island, right? Yeah, he's here. Where is the Evermist god guy? Hmm. How do you get to that motherfucker? I forgot how. Is this right? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. It's gonna take me forever to get the true ending, I swear. Oh wait, no, there it is, right? No, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Not a clue. Yeah, wasn't there like a, a side quest here involving an arena or something? I thought I read about that online. So I guess now would be the time to check it out. What the fuck is this? I don't remember this being here last time. Maybe? I don't remember shit. Hey, they took the barricade down. There used to be a thing there. Huh. Cool. Nice. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> I activated a cheat on the Wii Mod program. So... Is that gonna work, dude? Look, <laughs> infinite rainbow conches. I only found like 30 of them so far. That's why I've been so meh, I don't feel like doing that. I'm sorry, but when you're a gamer that's fucking as old as my dumbass, you've kind of been there, done that, seen it all. Fetch quest, rareware style, You're you're done. You know, you're done. You just get too old. You don't have the patience anymore to find all the hidden fucking pieces of shit throughout the game. You just don't have the patience anymore. And I think I don't. I'm sorry. I wish I did. I wish I was young and could play video games like, like they were so new and special to me once. And they still are. It's just, you know, I'm bitter and old now, so. How do I get out of here? Oh, this way, right? Yeah. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go to that little weirdo under the sea to find out if this uh, fucking mod will just let me go ahead and, and do my fucking thing, man. Let's see if this works, dude. I bet you it works. That's fucking nuts. Yay! I'm getting to play the game in a way that's better and funner than the rest of you assholes. <laughs> no, I don't mean to be a dick. Sorry. What the fuck? It works, dude. Look at that shit. Conch Master. 777 conches? What the fucking fuck? You are the man for cheating. Here's your reward.
All right, I got a new rep recipe. Nice. Spa plans. All right. Yep, yeah, that's what I needed to. And yeah, okay. Got the rainbow star. Ooh, nice. The rainbow star flew up and disappeared. What the fuck? What is happening, dude? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is how you get the true ending. Whatever the fuck is happening here. Probably something evil. I don't know. Huh. This game is great. Okay, back to Brisk or whatever that place is called. Wasn't that a, a fucking terrible drink or something? I think I remember it being really fucking popular at once. Brisk. It's like a fucking tea in a soda can. Motherfuckers would drink it and be like, it's the best shit ever. And I think I remember kind of liking them a little bit if they were like really chilled or something. But... At the same time, go fuck yourself. This ain't that great. <laughs> All right. I can't believe that worked. Yay, thank you, mod community. Make my life easier. Thank you. I'm an old fart gamer. I am. I don't even play the new stuff like Fartnite and all that. Fartnite? What's that? Back in my day, we played GoldenEye 64 in person. We actually got to see each other's skin in real life. Yeah, that's that's what, who I am. I'm old bastard now. Gonna be 40 soon. Jesus. It's too old. I saw Hassan Piker saying that he uh, is getting too old and shit. It's like, you're right, dude. You are. And you're a bit younger than me, but you are getting up there, dude. Get ready for the pains where your body aches more than usual. And maybe if you sleep one day a certain way, it fucks your whole body up for the next couple of days. Because you're sore and fucked up in that position for that long. Because you're not good at healing anymore. You're slow and stupid and you're dying. <laughs> it's fucked up, but it's kind of true. Especially in capitalism. Yeah, that's horrible, right? A lot of kids who were like me, growing up in the 80s and 90s. That means they made you drink soda pop all fucking day, didn't they? Didn't they? Yep, that's what I thought was okay. That was fucking just the thing that they threw out there like crazy for all the kids to consume, you know? And smoking cigarettes, of course, that was like super bad. Cocaine was a big deal back then for the really nasty cases where lives were really... Not giving a fuck and spiraling out of control and doing stuff that they would regret that would result in cancer and other horrible things a few decades later. Yeah. My generation is going through that right now. We're getting millennials turning up with cancer. Can you believe that shit? Already. Yay. Not good. So yeah, um, people my age, our lives are kind of already over. Give it up. <laughs> in enjoy life the best you can. While you can. Kind of a fucked up thing to say. But kind of true. But not for everybody. Hey, you might be lucky and you live forever. I don't know. Life is crazy. You can literally die in this world like a fucking baby. Or you can make it to almost a hundred like kissing her. Oh my god, that fucking dickhead, right? <clears throat> Fuck that dude. Glad he's dead. What a monster. What a fucking piece of shit. How unfair is that? That he got to live this great big fucking rich boy life while killing, what is it, 10 million people roughly? Half of those were kind of at the time and the other half were people who were so badly hurt and crippled by the event that it negatively impacted their lives and then they started dying shortly afterwards. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that he did, this fucking dick. What a piece of shit. 
Yeah, fuck that guy. Glad he's dead. Kissinger, fuck you. He was like our modern Hitler, really. Wasn't there like a secret here? Oh yeah, this guy's chest thing. Yeah. There was like a... Th yeah. Um, yeah, three times in a row he gives you a special reward. So you gotta get it right in three times. Empty. I fucking suck. Okay. Lame. Maybe we can do it, guys. Ten. I nailed it. Alright, so I guess you gotta come back and... Do it two more times, right? Uh, huh. Oh, nice! Holy shit! That's two in a row! I just gotta do it one more time. Oh, fuck you, game! Oh my god! That is fucking bullshit. That's just my luck. Story of my life. Get at the edge of paradise and then kicked in the nuts before I can even fucking drop my jaw. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, right. I'm, I'm playing the game. I forgot. Sorry. I'm. Ooh, here we go again. I'm at 10. Just gotta do it. Oh. Oh, maybe that was the prize. Just win the game three times in a row. Was that it? It didn't, it doesn't matter if I lost anywhere in between. Well, I don't know if there's anything special to do here. Fuck this guy. Let's leave. Maybe I should just get a guide and look online. <laughs> See what I need to do. But I heard you had to sort of do every fucking thing in the game. And then you can get the true ending. I don't know. But something tells me it's going to take me a little while. Because I'm not great at these kind of games. Why do you think I'm cheating? <clears throat> but yeah, I'm only really here for the story, dude. Story really sucks you in. Not at first. Like I said, the story is pretty whatever up until the flesh my answer finally makes an appearance. Then shit gets pretty real, dude. Where is this arena that I can go to? Is that over here? I don't know where I'm going. I think the boat, right? What, you can't go through this way? That sucks. I gotta go all the way around. Man, oh man. Yeah, sorry guys, my head is spinning. Ugh. Did y'all, um, see what the fuck that Nicki Minaj lady's been saying? What the fuck is her deal, yo? She's lost her fucking goddamn mind. Maybe she... Maybe, uh... No, I refuse to believe she was always crazy. I think money and fame and the isolation life that that provides because like she's not just like a millionaire right like she's like a big time millionaire like hundred millionaire millionaire like basically unlimited money you don't even know what the fuck to do with it all pick a number 45 duh you lose haha <laughs> You lose, Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, is that guy important? Do I need him for anything? What's the What's the fucking point of that dude? I I don't get it. But yeah, this game is just another Chrono Trigger type. Uh... <laughs> yeah, BS roulette. I love that. See, this game's got a sense of humor. <clears throat> oh, I pay I just paid him 90 gold? Good thing I'm cheating. 
I'd be kind of pissed if I lost that much money. Anyway, uh, he says, uh, we have a deal. Next number is 22. Okay. All right. I guess we can beat this guy's stupid game. 22. Let's do it, cheater. You look like a fucking scammer. But guess what, bitch? We have a winner. All right. Question pack two. Nice. What's that? What is question pack two? That's what these are, right? What 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 the fuck are they? No, not recipes. Uh, mm, music sheets. Holy crap! I glitched the game by having too many music sheets. What? Maybe I broke the game by using that mod. Holy fuck beans, dude. Yeah, I think I might have fucked the game up somehow. Hmm. Well, could be worse. Maybe I ruined my chances at the the uh, true ending. God, I hope not. That would be fucking lame. If that were to happen, I would just break down and, uh, I would break down and just, uh, replay the game again. Oh, oops, I hit casual game like a dumbass. Didn't I already beat this one? I think I did. Yeah. What I have learned... To beat this fucking kind of uh, roulette game that they have in the game. What I've learned is just abuse the wizard. <laughs> just spam the wizard's uh, usefulness and go from there. Like, who cares about your knight on the side? Fuck that. Who gives a shit? Well, let's try to build a little bit of a wall. Maybe that'll be helpful. Oh, nice. Look at that. I'm nailing it. Now let's strictly just go for points and shit. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, doing good. That feels good, man. <clears throat> Uh-oh. No, my precious wall. Yeah, these games are rigged too, dude. The AI has, like, they get cards of, like, three in a row and shit. Like, the game's not even subtle about telling you that you're at a disadvantage. It's fucking bullshit. So I kind of hate this minigame just because of that. Oh, what bad luck. Nothing but these. That sucks. No, we're juicing the wizard, and that's it. No, that's not too shabby. Not very promotion material, but straight up attack. Yeah, let's get a little wall going, I guess. Couldn't hurt. Come on. Come on. Eh, not the worst thing ever. Oh, game. I win, bitch. Suck it. Haha, uh -huh. the wall protected me. Ooh, and he just got to gold status. Too bad. Gold status would have cut me down in one hit. So yeah, that's my go-to strategy. Uh, focus on abusing the wizard on your left.
Yeah, um... Where's this so-called arena going down at? I thought there was an, a big arena or something. I don't know how to get that quest started in this fucking area of the game. In here, maybe? No. Up here, I think? What's in here? Oh, what the fuck? This is the arena. Look at that shit. How do I participate? Oh, duh. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, what you guys are seeing right now is the Kool-Aid man himself. This character is basically the Kool-Aid. <laughs> the Kool-Aid bust through the wall. Oh yeah. That's all this character is. No, he's actually got a deeper backstory. Like he, uh, yeah, it's kind of fucked up actually. <laughs> His world was taken from him. <laughs> Not allowed to use items. Bronze rank. This should be a no fucking brainer for me, dude. <laughs> I get to play as the Kool-Aid guy. Look at him go. Isn't he great? <laughs> Let's fucking party, dude. <laughs> the announcer guy is some cat dude. What the fuck? Sig. <laughs> Alright, cat dude. I like that guy. He looks fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of like the arena scene in Secret of Evermore, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty great. Clawless Crab Crew. <laughs> Alright. You ask for it, you little weirdos. Because I'm cheating, I can do really dirty stuff. Oh, hey, they won't let you switch characters in the arena. Oh, well, we can work with that. Wish I uh, brought different characters, but I guess maybe they force you to use certain characters. I don't know. Whatever. This music's kick-ass, dude. Is that it? Bring it, bitch. Huh. What's up with these duck dudes or whatever? I don't think I've ever used that one before, actually. <laughs> oh, well, let's smash these guys. They should be pretty easy to finish off, right? Nice moves, little buddy. Ooh. 
Who are these assholes? Zombie dude. <laughs> Man, this game's goofy, dude. <laughs> nice pose, zombie dude. Alright. Wow, that's a cool one. I never played with this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> uh, Kool-Aid guy before, honestly. Never really messed with his, uh, abilities too much in combat. Oh, I'm getting bitch slapped here. What the fuck? Man, fuck you, dude. Oh, I, that, that didn't work. Ow. You prick. Yeah, but yeah, maybe I'll go through the game again, uh, but without cheating. They also have like a relic that makes it even harder to uh, uh, play the game normally. So yeah, like check it out. I'll show you guys. I think I... I think I can show you right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think I can... Perfect glass fist. <laughs> nice. So I guess you never find a new weapon for this character? What was I going to show you guys? I, I totally spaced out. Oh. Sorry, I'm still not feeling the best. That could be worse, though. But yeah, it's a level 30 cap, similar to Mario RPG, so... Oh, the relics! That's what I wanted to show you guys. I'm such a dumbass, I forgot already. Yeah. See, you can turn uh, on ones that make the game easier. And then there's other ones, like this one that makes it harder. Like, look at that shit. Items cannot be used in combat. Holy shit. Campfires recover HP only up to 50%. Dang. They want you to struggle. Hi. <laughs> I don't know about that one. It sounds difficult. But hey, I'm up for the challenge. Maybe I'll do it. But right now, I don't. I just don't feel like being challenged at all. My life in real life is too hard as it is. Finding out that your family is sick and dying isn't great. Silver rank, let's do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep after this. Probably should get rest. Uh, who the fuck are you guys? Let's fucking go, man. Whoa, look at that. That was amazing. <laughs> I 
Yeah, but isn't the animation in this game fun? I like it. And the lighting is so good. This is the best lighting in one of these games ever. Yeah, I like the pixelated art style type games like this, I'm not gonna lie. Make more like this, it's really creative. You can do all kinds of goofy shit, you know? You have like an unlimitedly, unlimitedly, an unlimited uh, palette of creativity that you can abuse, you know? Like, my point is like, you ever see like a live action thing? Like, yeah, it looks realistic, but you can only make it look so good that way, you know? Like you can, well not, what I mean is you can only do so many out, outrageous looking things visually that, with live action. Animation, it's fucking limitless, you know, the kind of crazy shit you can do. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Didn't mean to push that button. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a combo with her and the dude. I should use that. Where is it? Yeah, the X strike, dude. Fucking end these bitches. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in my last video, like a jackass, I was gonna criticize Hassan Piker. Yeah. Um, I pretty much agree with the guy 100% politically, but... Um, Ow, that hurt a lot. Fucking skeleton, motherfucker. Take that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I pretty much agree with Hassan 99% of the time politically. But his taste of, of entertainment, I find to be shit. Um, he thinks John Mayer is good music. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, that is so bad that I'm never taking his opinion seriously on entertainment ever again. Good God. Fuck John Mayer. John Mayer sucks. Um, I've seen Hassan Piker say, The new Call of Duty looks sick. Bro, you're into those? Really? Like, you've, you've pl you play one, you play them all, man. Like, what are you doing? So that's annoying. His taste in games sucks. He's been all about that unfinished PAL world game. Like, dude, what a joke. And uh, <clears throat> he didn't understand the Barbie movie. He called the little girl who calls Barbie a Nazi uh, ham-fisted. And it's like, Hassan, that is a little child saying outrageous things because, look, she's fucking 11 or whatever the fuck it's a kid you know <laughs> like come on man get it together and he didn't like the ending he thought it was like you know not the way he would have ended it or something and it's like no the ending to barbie is great it's a moment where the character realizes she doesn't have to be a corporate tool or symbol or doll or whatever and she can just be a normal person that's what the fuck the ending is dude like, come on, I'm a dumbass. I'm a stupid asshole, and even I got that. So, Hassan sucks when it comes to entertainment. <laughs> and he also had a dumbass take on the Oscars, because apparently Barbie didn't win anything at the Oscars. Who cares about the Oscars? The Oscars is a joke. It's won by, it's run by white supremacists, largely. Like, like come on, dude. But Hassan said something stupid, because there were people that were offended that uh, Barbie didn't win any big awards or whatever. And those people, well, yeah, they're kind of being dumb, because who cares? You shouldn't care. Like I said, Oscars is a joke. Just like the Game Awards. The Game Awards is a fucking joke. You kidding me, Game Awards? 2015 Game of the Year should be Overwatch? Really? Oh, wait, no. 16. 2016. Game of the Year is Overwatch? An unfinished online-only microtransaction game? From Blizzard? Those dickheads? Fuck you, dude. Like, this is terrible. Yeah, but anyway, the Oscars is bad, too. Green Book? What a joke. Yeah? What a fucking joke, dude. But yeah, Hassan had a dumb take. He said that, uh... uh they don't do culture-y type stuff. 
for for the awards at Oscars. And it's like, then what do you call Crash, dumbass? What do you call... <laughs> what do you call Green Book, dickhead? So Hassan doesn't know shit about entertainment. And uh, you know this is true, just because he's talked to, like, FD Signifier and, uh, and Fantano. And, yeah, they clearly know more than he does. And uh, he always looks fucking stupid in front of them. So, yeah, don't take him seriously in that regard. Um... But yeah, his political takes are pretty decent. <laughs> oh, and there's another thing about him that sucks. He's in the Twitchosphere, so he hangs out sometimes with assholes like Asmongold and and uh, H3, H3, Ethan Klein, who's a fucking dickhead, you know, but he's trying to, like, get the guy to be less of a dickhead. And that's nice and cute and everything, but sorry, Hassan. This is fucking stupid. The guy's an asshole. You're not going to get anywhere. But... Here's the dark truth about Hassan Piker that a lot of you guys probably already know but don't think about too much. Him being friends with Ethan Klein is very similar, actually, to somebody like Rachel Maddow being butt buddies with uh, Sean Hannity from Fox News, okay? It's kind of like that. These people are weird, okay? They live this very strange life where they're some kind of news media personality type with millions of people who watch them. Like, yeah, it's fucking weird and alienating to be them. So in a strange way, they relate to other people who have a similar career. Even if their politics are vastly different or whatever the fuck, they are still allies in a class sort of job sort of manner. So... You gotta remember that about old Hassani here, you know? It's, it's kind of the name of the game. Like, there's, a, you know, the Majority Report, I like watching them, but they sometimes talk with people I don't really appreciate, and it's because, you know, welcome to capitalism, right? <laughs> so try not to judge people too much with who they associate with and talk to, you know, because... Uh, you know, they, they, they might not condone those exact same behaviors of said dickhead. You know, it's just true. Just find out what, what it's all about. If a person is hanging out with someone that you don't like, that doesn't necessarily mean that person is someone that you also shouldn't like. You know, get to the bottom of it is my point. And uh, Hassan, even though he hangs out with a-holes sometimes... Uh, I still think he means well, and I'd, I still don't see a reason to call him an a-hole over it. So, just, you know, that's my criticism of Hassan. If he heard me say this shit, he would be fucking pissed, I'm sure. Especially the Rachel Maddow, Sean Hannity comparison. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, I know, but kind of not really. I'm just saying, man. You got more in common with Ethan than you do with some nobody asshole like me. That's all I'm saying, man. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna get going here. I gotta sleep and... Well, maybe I'll finish this arena. I already started it, right? Who am I fighting next? Huh. <laughs> What the fuck? The clockwork abomination. Hell yeah, it is fucking creeping me out. Man, this game's got a lot of weird shit. See, remember what I just now said about live action? Can you imagine them trying to make something like this, but in real life? I don't know if it would come off the same way, man. <laughs> so anyway, guys. I'm done for the day. I'll make another video maybe tomorrow. I don't know. See if I got free time. I don't know. See how I'm feeling. I probably shouldn't have even done a video just now. I feel like shit. So yeah, I'm gonna pass the fuck out. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe play a little bit of guitar first. <laughs>
pretty cool, right? I learned that a little while ago. Anyways, I'm going to sleep. Good night.